Most of what the Apollo astronauts brought back from the moon is safely stored and studied right here in Houston. So who watches over this priceless product? Well, you're about to meet her. She is NASA's real rock star. Before you get to see where Andrea Mosey works. You do this every day. You need to suit up. I feel like I'm ready for surgery. <laughs> and then stand back. Mosey's the chief processor and protector of NASA's Lunar Vault. This is a national treasure. This pristine room is filled with moon rocks and soil and dust, hundreds of pounds brought back to Earth from six Apollo missions. And I'm going to take you over to the Apollo 11 cabinet. All of the samples are stored in these trays, and they're all sealed. And they stay sealed, safe from Earth's corroding air. This is Apollo 15. That is, until they're needed next door. Neil Armstrong picked that up? Yes, he sure did. This is the Lunar Lab, where scientists get to work analyzing the impact of things like cosmic wind and solar rays. What we do here reflects back to the beginning and for the future. This is a rock when they brought it back from the moon. They call this the Genesis rock. It's four billion years old, and it helped us correctly date the Earth's age. That white color? Well, that's what you're seeing when you gaze up at the moon. Each rock here has a history, and whatever happens to it in the lunar lab, each test, each cut, it's gonna go right through there, is written down and photographed. This is something that I did back in 1985. The records are meticulous. Because you have to put it back together. It's like a puzzle. You have to know where all the pieces came from. Andrea Mosey showed up at NASA as a high school intern 50 years ago. Here she is opening the same vault door when it was brand new 40 years ago. And you might wonder, after all that time, what's left to learn? But she says modern equipment is revealing new information about these old rocks. When I first started working here, it was like, there is no water on the moon. And so by going over these analyses over the years, a few things change. NASA shares small samples with scientists all over the world for their research, too. Even so, about 75% of what's in this vault remains untouched. And yet, Mosey is disappointed nothing new has shown up here since 1972. Uh, we only sampled six different locations on the moon, and there's a vast majority area that needs to be sampled. Andrea Mosey wants to see more moon missions, and she dreams about another vault filled with this most precious payload. Yes, I will see it. I'll be here. Don't bet against her. She is a walking, talking <laughs> history book. Love talking to her. Hey, T-minus nine days will touch down on the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. You can join us Saturday night, July 20th at 7 for One Giant Leap, the moon and beyond. We'll look back at the Apollo 11 mission and its connection to Houston. We'll also look forward to future missions to the moon and hopefully Mars.